Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at Pete Hegseth making his mom go on TV to backtrack on the letters she wrote Donald Trump's pick for Secretary of Defense. If you aren't familiar with the letter, I'll be getting into it in a very fun way. Penelope Hegseth sent it to Pete in 2018 amid his divorce from his second wife, Samantha. If you're keeping score, he's had three wives and divorced them all. It's the party of family values. It was, it was a difficult time. I, I want to say something about the media. And um, part of today is to discredit the media and how they operate. Um, when they contact you, um, I let a few phone calls go, but then they right. call you and say they threaten you. That's the first thing they do. Right. They say, unless you make a statement, we will publish it as is. And I think that's a despicable way uh, to, to treat anyone. Threats are, are dangerous, and they're, they, they're hard on families. Okay, the media does not threaten you. They contact you and say, we're running this story. Would you like to comment? If you don't comment, we're still running the story. As Penelope just said here, unless you make a statement, we will publish as is. Publishing your words as is. But we're giving you the opportunity to add to them. So, to recap... You were angry about what was going on, his behavior during the divorce. Right. Uh, and so you wrote that email. And then, you know, a couple hours later, you apologized. Mm -hmm. And you For guys talked words, and, you, and yes. you worked it out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you catch that? For some of the words. Yeah, don't let that one slip by you, folks. For some of the words. I How? think people need to listen to him. Get to know him, not the Pete from seven years ago, but the Pete of today. Right. Wow, this is not helping. I mean, she's really drilling at home that the old Pete was pretty awful. Today's Pete, Pete of today. Yeah, get to know that guy, but do not look into his past because it is not good. During the confirmation hearings uh, coming up, it, uh, if Pete continues with this nomination process, you might be called. Would you testify in front of Congress? I don't even answer to that right now, Steve. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. What about... I hadn't even thought about that. I mean, I was willing to go BS on the safe space of my son's workplace on morning TV, but a confirmation hearing? Isn't that, like, serious? Under oath and all? Yeah, I never really thought about that. I would say uh, I don't think the way you operate is, it feels almost criminal uh, when reporters call you and threaten you. I don't think a lot of people know that's the way they operate. And uh, they, they are in it for the commission, for the money, um, and they don't care who they hurt, families, children. And um, I just, I don't believe that that is the right way to do things. They're not threatening you. They were never threatening you. And you're literally on a tabloid network that lost $787 million for lying. Okay? It's just lunacy. Now that we've seen her flimsy attempt to kind of backtrack on her scathing letter regarding her son, let's take a look at just what Penelope wrote. And to do that, please welcome back to the Tommy Campbell Show, Mitch McConnell. I think you should at least show me the respect of addressing me by the combined super name Elaine and I decided on after much debate. Mitch McChow is right here on my desk. Big M, little C, big C, H-A-O. Now, I think it's important to be honest and for those to see the truth and confirm that this was all blown out of proportion. Letter from Pete's mom. Your accountability partner just started a Rocco Cifredi playlist. Please get in touch before... Oh, I'm sorry. There appears to be a notification regarding Mike Johnson and some spaghetti. Italian food. Let's just clear that away. Okay. Letter from Pete's mom. Son, I've tried to keep quiet about your character and behavior. But after listening to the way you made Samantha feel today, I cannot stay 
silent. And as a woman and your mother, I feel I must speak out. You are an abuser of woman. That is the ugly truth, and I have no respect for any man that belittles, lies, cheats, sleeps around, and uses women for his own power and ego. Is this a letter to Pete or a letter to Donald Trump? I'm not, I'm not sure here. You are that man and have been for years. And as your mother, it pains me and embarrasses me to say, but it is the sad, sad truth. Hey, man, what are your thoughts on Lauren Boebert being nominated for a position with Port Authority? I was thinking she would make a great secretary of Tugs. This is not the letter. It is some locker room humor sent via a message from Ted Cruz, whose home country could join ours if Trump has his way. Letter, letter, letter. I am not a saint. Far from it. So don't throw that in my face. But your abuse over the years to women, dishonesty, sleeping around, betrayal, debasing, belittling, needs to be called out. Sam is a good mother and a good person under the circumstances that you created. And I know deep down you know that. For you to try to label her as unstable for your own advantage is despicable and abusive. Is there any sense of decency left in you? She did not ask for or deserve any of what has come to her by your hand. Neither did Meredith. Meredith is not a common name. There's like Meredith Baxter Burney from Family Ties, and that's about all I can think of. Okay, I'm being told by a producer that was Meredith Schwartz, his third wife, they are divorced. I remember Family Ties had a character named Skippy. And then Growing Pains decided to one-up things. We're given the main character, portrayed by Christian conservative actor Kirk Cameron, a best friend named Boner. I'm not making this up. His name was Boner. I know you think this is one big competition and that we have taken her side. We are on the side of good, and that is not you. Go ahead and call me self-righteous. I don't care. Don't you dare run to her and cry foul that we shared with us. That's what babies do. It is time for someone, I wish it was a strong man, to stand up to your abusive behavior and call it out, especially against women. We still love you. But we are broken by your behavior and lack of character. I don't want to write emails like this, and never thought I would. If it damages our relationship further, then so be it. But at least I have said my piece. And yes, we are praying for you. And you don't deserve to know how we are praying. So skip the snarky reply. I don't want an answer to this. I don't want to debate with you. You twist and abuse everything I say anyway, but on behalf of all the women, and I know it's many, you have abused in some way, I say, get some help and take an honest look at yourself. Mom. I was told that his mother went on Fox News to play this down. But I don't see how having a defense secretary that requires his mother to fix his problems is going to project an image of strength. And of course, there are all those challenging allegations, drinking problems, questionable tattoos, and your accountability partner is searching for steamy Santa videos. Okay, this is 
This is more of the Mike Johnson stuff. He often says we have to put the Christ in Christmas, but it looks like he wants Santa to put the Can I get a bump? I make this show 100% on my own thanks to you. If you love what I do, drop me a super thanks. Consider leaving me a PayPal tip or hit the join button to support what I do here. It was pouring MAGA tears this week after Biden pardoned Hunter. Yes, he said he wasn't going to do this, and I don't think he was until Trump got in and made his revenge tour very public, so fair play to Joe. I mean, what's the point of being president if you're not going to use a few perks? It's his son. The end. You do the same. Maybe. Okay? Actually, if Penelope were president, I'm not sure if she'd pardon Pete. I don't agree with any of Hunter Biden's actions. And I do think the left really ran away from the fact that he and the Biden family refused to acknowledge the daughter he had with London Roberts. For years, Biden said he had six grandchildren when there were seven. And I don't agree with that. She had to sue Hunter to take a paternity test and pay child support, claiming they had a relationship and he was the father of her child. And the test ultimately proved him to be the father. But let's not forget that when it came to pardons, Trump threw them around to his friends and family. And in Rudy's lawsuit with Noelle Dumphy, she said on the record that he told her he was selling pardons for $2 million, that he was going to split with Trump, and to see if she knew anyone that needed one, but also noted to refer them to him so they did not go through the normal channels of the office of the pardon attorney, because correspondence going to that office would be subject to disclosure under the Freedom of Information Act. He told her that if the FBI sought to interview her, she should not remember anything and should claim that she did not know Giuliani. It is funny to see their right wing losing their mind over Hunter Biden when Trump issued a total of 143 pardons during during his time in office, including pardons for Jared Kushner's father, Bannon, and Roger Stone. I had a terrific meeting with Mark Zuckerberg. I had a lot of questions, so many questions like, can I block Melania? Can you do that? And does Ivanka know when I screenshot her beach holiday pictures? This is really cool. If you aren't familiar with the letter, Pamel... Blah, blah, blah. Please get in touch before... Okay, I'm sorry, this appears to be a notification. Regarding Mike Johnson and some Rocco spaghetti, some Italian food. Hey man, what are your thoughts on Lauren Boebert being nominated for a position with the Port Authority? <laughs> being nominated for a position with the Port Authority. I was thinking she would make great Secretary of Tugs. <laughs> I remember Family Ties had a character named Skippy, like the delicious peanut butter I eat with my finger. And Growing Pains decided to one-up things by having a main character, a uh, Christian conservative actor, Kirk Cameron. They gave him a best friend named Boner. <laughs> a free way to support me is by doing your regular Amazon shopping through my link in the description. That's it, it costs you nothing. Just gotta click here and it helps me keep the show going. Thanks for watching. Please stick around and check out another one of my videos. Say hello in the comments. Find my stand up on Spotify, stream by millions, and add me on Facebook and Instagram. It all helps. Be cool, be kind, take care.